what's going on guys it's anime one back with another video and today i'm here with another part of what if naruto was neglected and ended up like obito so if you guys like the content in the channel please subscribe to the channel and while you're at it also like this video so let's begin the video Minato and Kushina went for their attack the first. Minato with a Rasengan and Kushina with a sword. Kushina in the left, while well, Minato was in the right. Kushina brought down a sword and Naruto blocked it with the sight. And Minato brought down the Rasengan. Naruto let the Rasengan face right through him as he tilted his body and let the Rasengan and grab Minato's arm and kick Minato away. So heavy thought Minato as he received the kick that sent him flying. Then Naruto deflected Kushina's sword and uh, kicked her away as well, with sending uh, a pulse of lightning chakra. Kushina just stumped back, and uh, Naruto focused his long range Kamui on Minato, trying to warp away the Hokage's head, but Minato flashes away to the kunai that he had placed all over the battlefield. Then a green blur came towards Naruto, guy in his sixth gate kicks Naruto away, sending him skidding away. Naruto grabs the ground and controlling his movements from going too far. Naruto brought up his sword, seeing Mifune coming to him and blocked the attack. Using his other hand to do single-handed jutsu, Naruto performed a lightning-style jutsu and electrocuted Mifune by using his black lightning. I seeing Mifune scream out in pain, comes towards Naruto with his sixth gate open still and tries to kick Naruto away, but Naruto lets the attack phase right through him and swipes his side at Guy once the kick completely phases right through him, but Guy uses the sight as a bar to jump over it and while Kushina grabs Mifune and jumps away. M Minato looks at the sight with narrowed eyes. Kushina, Guy, can you buy some time? Minato said as both of them nodded. Kushina formed their hands in a cross hand seal as several poofs appeared and at least 100 clones or shadow clones were there. Naruto looks unf unfazed. He didn't care if there were 100 or 1000 of them. It didn't matter. He leapt forward as all the clones came towards him. It was a massacre, sweeping his sight away and uh, doing many things. He completely massacred the clones. One of the clones, unf unknown to Naruto, had managed to cut his dress a little, while Minato, seeing the cut on appear on Naruto's, Hayori just widened his eyes in realization. So that's it, huh? thought Minato, but Naruto had enough of the clones. Four portals appeared around all the clones as rods and uh, surikens, large surikens, came out of the portal and killed all the clones. While the clones were killed, the rods and surikens did not stop and went towards Guy, Mifune, Minato, and Kushina. Minato was ready to flash all of them away to another location. But Guy appeared in front of Minato and started swinging his fist in the air, forming a large fireball towards the incoming attack of the huge rods and shurikens. Morning, Pika. as Guy jumped down, glaring at the masked man. I see, so that's his deal, huh? Said Minato. Lord Hokage, did you figure out something? Asked Mifune as Minato nodded. All of his jutsu are actually just a single jutsu, said Minato. All of them looked at him confused. But how? Asked Guy. Truly confused, Minato started explaining. The ability where he becomes intangible Actually, he just sends whatever part of his body is about to be hit in a separate dimension. I suspect the portals that ejected all the weapons was extracted from that dimension where he sends all his body parts away. When Kushina managed to cut his clothes, 
sleeve a little is because he didn't realize that the cut was there in the first place. It was too late. That means he has to see the attack in order to become intangible until it's too late, said Minato. I see a complex jutsu and a bothersome ability, said Guy, as Minato nodded in agreement, but guys, let's listen, that's not only his secret, said Minato as they all looked at him, confused. Narzo glared at Minato. Impressive observation skill, and your knowledge of space-time ninjutsu is certainly something. But even more impressive, your cool-headedness and perception, and your Hiroshima Jutsu is troublesome. It seems the first one I should take down is you, Namikaze Minato. All four of them jumped away as a portal appeared where they were. They all looked behind to see another portal appear, and the masked man stepping out of it. Minato formed a rusting gun in a quick second and tried to slam it in the man, but the rusting gun was sucked away in a swirling vortex. All five of them uh, falling down, Naruto spoke. <laughs> Blocking my Kamui's vision with a wide range attack of your own, huh? All five of them landed as Naruto twisted his sight in his hand and rushed towards them, as did Mifune, Kushina, Minato, and Guy. Guy goes in first with a punch, still he's still in his sixth gate, but his punch phases right through the man. Minato sees a portal come out beside Guy and several back rods aiming towards Guy. He flashes towards Guy and flashes away again. But the masked man says that tenses the chakra in the kunai that Minato was about to flash to and tries to use his kamui, but Kushina and Mifune appear right in front of him before he could do anything and aim their swords right at Naruto's head. But again, it phases right through him and he sends an electric stream towards them. Both Kushina counters it with a wind attack and Mifune with a chakra beam of his sword causing a miniature explosion. After the smoke cleared down, the masked man appeared in a distance out of a strolling vortex. But as soon as he was out of the strolling vortex, he had to bring up his sight and block a kick from Guy. But Minato appeared behind the man before he could do anything with a Rasengan. Naruto seeing this becomes completely intangible, letting both the Minato behind him and the guy beside him phase right through him. But the Minato that was phasing right through the masked man poofs out, of, poofs out of existence as Guy jumps back, and the real Minato in a sage mode, slams a huge Rasengan where Naruto was. But the giant Rasengan starts to get sucked away in a portal, but Minato keeps on pumping his sage chakra in the Rasengan. Too bad you're wasting your chakra, Hokage. Even in a sage mode, you don't have infinite amount of chakra, said Naruto in a cocky tone, but Minato smirked. <laughs> Notice something, when you are sending anything into your dimension, except your body parts, you can't be intangible, isn't that right? Naruto's eyes widen, hearing that, when Kushina, Mifune, and Guy were all coming towards him with the intent to kill. Damn Namikaze, if I try to use Kamui to become intangible, no, I won't have I won't be fast enough before the Rasengan slimes right into me. And if I try to use Kamui to teleport, no, that won't work either. In that case, the masked man thought as his left eye, the Mangekyo started to spin. Minato's and everyone's eyes widened. When one second Naruto was there in their trap about to get killed, and the other second he was standing in a distance away looking at them. Then a huge surge of chakra could be felt as Jiraiya was there in his sage mode, but something was different. His features were not that of a frog, but only his eyes had changed. See, Jiraiya boy, 
now it's beneficial since you only need one of us to supply you with say chakra while the other can help minato boy or menma boy said pa as your eyes smirked minato looked at his sensei and sucked sensei you mastered sage mode he said jiraiya nodded as pod jumps to minato's shoulder and minato who had lost his sage mode regains it his eyes become yellow with the horizontal mark and the pigmentations around his eyes it's only natural but all of it all abilities have weaknesses that was very educational the masked man said as a strange seal appeared on his body as it glowed and disappeared kushina minato and jiraiya's eyes widen seeing the seal that appeared on the masked man's body that's said minato a body res resistance seal completed kushina with sweat rolling down her face this is way worse than we thought said jiraiya the glow disappeared around Naruto. Now let me teach you something in return. You'll never be as lucky as you're just right now, said Naruto, his mangekyo glowing, glaring at his opponents, ready to take them down. Meanwhile, in Konoha, Pain was at the gates of Konoha. He was staring at the village. There is a barrier around the village. And it's not gonna be easy to infiltrate, said Payne. No, it's impossible without being noticed, said Conan, as Payne nodded. I don't care about being noticed. There's no one strong enough to face a god, said Payne as he jumped towards the village. One of his pads did. The pads went through hand signs. Summoning Jutsu, she said, as in a several poof of smoke. All the six pads of pain were assembled. Now scatter, said Tendo, as all of the pain scattered. And the pain assault began. The atmosphere was extremely tense, tense to a point. Will you even drop a pin? You could hear it. It was dead silence. All of them were serious. Skies, Sensei, Kushina. Guy and Mifune, listen, said Minato, as they all looked at him. What is it, Minato? said Kushina. Through the evidence that Kakashi had gathered, he faced a masked man that was wearing the Akatsuki cloak and the same ability as this man. And that's not the thing that's bothering me the most. If he wears the Akatsuki cloak, that means, said Minato as Jirai finished it for him. He is one of the highest ranking members, or even the leader himself, said Jiraiya as Minato nodded. Yes, that is the case. And if that is it, this is bad, said Minato. Naruto looked at them. So the blasted Hatake told you about me and his encounter, huh? Then uh, that's why you were able to figure out my jutsu, Namikaze Minato, and figure out a weakness of it. No matter, this is your last time that you're gonna be seeing my jutsu in the first place, said Naruto. As they all glared at him. Guys, we cannot afford to hold back anymore. Those seals that came off him were body restriction shields. Sealed stats that seal away every single aspect of her body greatly. And if he released all that amount of chakra and his physical abilities have just boosted or even skyrocketed at this point. We have to go all out. Take care of this guy right here and right now. He is bad news, said Minato, as all of them nodded. Guy went to the seventh gate. Kushina assembled her chains that she had not used throughout the battle, while Mifune activated his clan bloodline, with his eyes turning completely blue and a silver aura surrounding his body. 
Oh, this is the five of you going all out, huh? Well, it certainly is frightening for a normal shinobi. But, show me what you've got it. I have not had a good bow since a long time, said Naruto as he looked up at the scene. Normal shinobis would have been scared, but he was excited. He was about to have the battle that he wanted. Guy was the first one to attack. He rushed forward. To most shinobi, it would be like just seeing a blue blur. But Naruto sidestepped his kick and brought down his sight. But he found the chains rushing towards him. He disappeared in a burst of speed. Appearing behind Mifune, bringing down his sight, which was blocked by the samurai's sword. He had to make himself intangible as Jiraiya and Minato came at him with a punch. Letting them face through him, uh, he disappeared in a burst of speed again towards Gai and engaged him in a taijutsu battle. Gai was quite shocked. This guy was keeping up with him in taijutsu. Naruto was grinning behind his mask while exchanging punches and kicks with Kai. He could have easily used his Kamui and evaded most of the attacks that Kai threw at him, but he wanted the thrill of the battle, the thrill of being hurt. Guy punched Naruto away as Naruto looked over him to see a huge shadow. Then he looked up to see a huge sword made out of completely chakra behind him and coming towards him. Samurai secret technique, judgment, Mifune yelled, slamming the attack down, creating a huge explosion and craters flying around everywhere. Mifune looked down, did that do it? No, but his eyes widened when he saw and heard a voice. So, this is the secret technique of the Minashu clan, huh? As powerful as it is, it doesn't seem to be specialized in speed. How about its defenses? Hearing that Mifune brought the sword in front of him to block the attack, there is no way that he can break through this sword sealed. Even uh, his ancestors used this attack to tank a Bijudama. There's no way. Mifune thought, but Naruto jumped up and focused his right eye on the sword. Kamui! In a strolling vortex, the hole was created in the sword, and Naruto kicked Mifune so hard that the samurai's eyes rolled back and he coughed out blood. Using his sight, Naruto brought down his sight. Slash! Mifune's head rolled down his body and his body felt down limp. Mifune! yelled Jiraiya as he went through hand signs. Fire style! Fire dragon bomb jutsu! Jiraiya said as releasing a huge fireball towards the man but in a strolling vortex all the flames got sucked away and the man's right eye. Let me return the favor. Fire style! Bomb blast dance, said Naruto, releasing a huge swirl of flames, rushing towards Jiraiya, who widened his eyes seeing the magnitude of the incoming jutsu. But he was saved when he heard a voice, flying Raijin, guiding thunder, said Minato, as, he, as a ceiling of era appeared in front of Jiraiya, sucking away the flames. As Minato threw a kunai behind the man, and the flames that the masked man had threw at Jiraiya, burst out of the kunai towards the masked man, who smirked behind his mask. He became intangible and let the flames pass right through him. Then Naruto saw several chains coming down on him. Kushina slammed her chains everywhere as she panted afterwards. I didn't feel any of them c connect, she thought, but her eyes widened when the masked man came out of the ground like a ghost and slammed his fist coated in chakra into Kushina's stomach. Kushina's eyes rolled back in her head as he coughed out blood. A roar appeared in Naruto's hand as he stabbed it in Kushina's stomach, making her scream in pain. Kushina! yelled Minato 
Seeing this, he rushed towards the masked man, bringing down his Rasengan. Uh, a formed, and a fire started surrounding the Rasengan. Seeing this, Naruto smirked under his mask as he held out his own hand as a black ball completely made out of black lightning formed. Do you honestly believe you are the only one who made a, a jutsu out of the Bizudama? Said Naruto as he went down towards Minato. Minato brought the, up his hand. Purgatory Rasengan! Minato said. Indra, said Naruto, as they slammed their attacks together, causing a huge explosion. Once the explosion was clear, the figures could be seen flying, sent flying away, and they all saw it was none other than their Hokage. Minato was in bad condition, flowing out of his mouth, and his hand almost completely damaged. Guy rushed towards Naruto in a familiar stance as he glanced at Minato, who was still in his weakened state, who nodded, understanding what he was about to do. He flashed towards Kushina and Jiraiya and the dead body of Mifune and flashed them away as Guy appeared in front of Naruto. Hirodora, he said. As a huge white tiger came towards Naruto who opened up a portal in front of him and ejected several black rods all towards them but they were destroyed. He had no choice but to use his Kamui and teleport out of there. Four kilometers of radius, everything was completely destroyed. The Hirodora was no joke. And it was probably stronger than Minato's Purgatory Rasengan. Since everything calmed down, Minato and the others flashed again in the battlefield to see Kai on his knees, completely exhausted and panting. The gates had always taken their toll on him, and this was the longest he had ever used it in a battle. And their eyes widened when they saw a strolling vortex open up and a Naruto coming out of it. Jiraiya saw his surroundings. Minato was out of his sage mode and was completely exhausted. And he was not in a fighting case. And he also had his arm that was heavily damaged. And if not treated, he would bleed out and die. And he looked at Kushina like she was barely conscious. He looked, then he looked at the masked man, and he had to do this. He rushed forward in a burst of speed, tried to punch him, but the masked man grabbed his punch as he held his arm firm. As Jiraiya tried to get away and tried to release his arm, but he couldn't. The masked man's hold was too strong, and a portal appeared behind Jiraiya and several black rods appeared out of the portal and stabbed Jiraiya all over his body. Jiraiya boy! Sensei! Minato and the two elderly tolls yelled. This is bad. No, my heart is... Jiraiya thought as his eyes started to close. Seeing this, Minato and the fatigued guy rushed towards Naruto, but Naruto appeared in front of them and backhanded both of them. Then another portal appeared and several black rods came out of it and stabbed Minato and guy all over their body. <laughs> Are you done wasting your chakra? He said Naruto as he looked at them. So and the others looked at him. They were completely outclassed by this masked man. He's too strong thought Minato as he looked at the masked man. Damn it, I cannot afford spending more chakra than I already am. I can only teleport one of us out of here, me and one more other. Jiraiya Sensei, Minato thought, but his eyes widened when he saw Jiraiya's eyes closed and his breathing was stopped as well. He could sense it. Jiraiya was dead. And Mifune was dead as well. He looked at his wife, who was barely conscious, but she was slowly regaining her consciousness. And then he looked at Guy, who was somewhat in a fighting state, but due to all the black rods in his body, he was also pinned down. He had no choice. He could not do anything right now. He felt so powerless. <laughs> I like the look on your faces. You've run out of options, haven't you? 
Fawn still glared at him. Guy and Minato were thinking the same thing. If they had to stay alive, they needed to get to the hospital immediately. With this amount of damage, there is no way they could they could stay alive more than an hour if they were left at this date. Minato yelled Kushina as he saw him looking at her. He was about to teleport her away. Forget about me. Take Guy and run away, she said. There is no way that we can beat this guy as if we, he's right now. He's too strong, said Kushina. No, she is right, Hokage, said Naruto as he looked at it. Minato. I have some business uh, that with that woman as well, so I'm not letting her escape. But you and the Taijutsu guy can escape if you want to. I have no objections on that. You won't be able to lift up a finger until at least a month. Isn't that right? said Naruto as he looked at Minato. Minato didn't know what he meant, but soon he would. Kushina, there's no way I'm leaving you, said Minato. Kushina looked at him. As he said, Minato, he still has business with me. So, go, escape. You have to live on. Without you, it, it will be all be hopeless, she said. Minato looked at his wife. As man held out his hand, as several woodbines appeared and completely surrounded Kushina, wood style, thought Minato and Guy. Kushina was completely immobilized by the wood ball vines around her body. Zumaki Kushina, I still have some business and some works that I need you to do for me. And for that, I need you alive right now. And what do you need me to do for you exactly? Said Kushina in a sarcastic tone. <laughs> Something related with the Uzumaki clan that I cannot achieve. I need a full-blooded Uzumaki to do it, said the mask man as he looked at Kushina. Don't tell me, you... Now, now, shut your mouth, Kushina. I still don't want my secret to come out yet. But, Minato and Amikaze, you on the other hand... Said Naruto uh, as he looked at Minato's hair. Perhaps you're planning some way to escape, or perhaps you're planning some way to defeat me right now. Or could it be that you don't have the power to move anymore? I really do wonder what is happening in Konoha right now, while four of its most powerful shinobi are outside the village, said Naruto in a cryptic tone. Minato. Didn't know what that meant, but it couldn't be something good. You bastard. What the hell is going on in Konoha? Tell me! Minato yelled. Minato, calm down, said Kushina as he looked at the masked man. <laughs> Looks like your wife is much calmer when it comes to the village. I wonder why, said Naruto as he looked at Minato. Doesn't matter. I want you to die right here and right now, Minato Namikaze. That Russian Najutsu of yours is very troublesome, even for me, said the masked man as he started walking towards Minato. And if you want to escape, go ahead. But will you be able to leave your darling wife behind, that is? Mina, Naruto said as Minato glared at the man. But you bastard, said Minato. <laughs> Doesn't matter now, does it? Minato, go, said, yelled Kushina as he held out her hands in a cross sign. Forming at least four clones, that was the last bit of her chakra. And it would battle at least by her sometime. Naruto saw the clones rushing towards him. Tch, such a nuisance, he thought as he started battling the clones. And soon, uh, Kushina was started to speak. Minato, you have to leave right now. If you are not alive, there is no way that we can hope to beat this man. She said, Kushina, but Minato, listen, she said. You have to get over it. You're the Hokage. Go, take Guy and leave, she said. Uh, so Minato gritted his teeth, but he nodded. 
Very well, but don't you dare die on me, Kushina, you said, as you grabbed Guy. Tch, I'm not letting you escape, Namikaze, yelled Naruto as he rushed towards Minato, but before Naruto could grab him, Minato vanished in a yellow flash. <laughs> Looks like your plan failed. You cannot reach Minato right now, with even with a teleportation. You still have me to take care of, she said. <laughs> Uzumaki Kushina. Looks like you're being you have been quite busy, haven't you? Enjoy this little rest leave of yours. Because the next time we meet, it will be all business. And uh, you know exactly what I want from the Uzumaki clan archives, don't you? Said the Mask Man. The Reaper Dead Seals energy formula is never right, she said. <laughs> as smart as ever, Kushina. But yes, that's what I want. There's something that I want the Shinigami to do for me. And he won't be able to restrict my offer in that case but enjoy your leave until you have it Kushina Uzumaki Naruto said as he grabbed her and sucked her away in a swirling vortex S since that done hopefully pain takes care of the nine tails and brings it to the extraction Zetsu how is Suki Uchiha doing he asked. Zetsu looked at Mad the Mask Man. He was watching the battle the entire time. You defeated them quite easily, didn't you? You were just playing around. You didn't use your Susano even. That's quite a feat. I don't think even Madara would be able to do something like that without using his Susano. Yeah, said Zetsu. Doesn't matter. Say, how is Suki Uchiha? With the eight tails capture, said Naruto again. Zetsu decide. <sighs> she's doing well. She has captured the eight tails, and she's currently coming back to the hideout. She will be there in a few days. You said Zetsu, as Naruto nodded. Very well then. Our job here is done. But before I go. I need to take something that I came here in the first place for," said Naruto as the star Sharingan looked towards the direction of the eastern gate of the Minasha clan, the tallest building in the Minasha clan compound. That is where he'll get what he came here for and killed so many people for.